Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Mr. 3D. Have you ever thought I have too many builds of Blender installed on my computer? I should probably get rid of some of those. So in today's video, we are going to check out a free tool that helps you manage the number of builds you have installed on your computer so that you don't get confused and take ton of time to figure out what's going on. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, I'm going to leave the link in the description below for you to check out. Blender Launcher is a free tool that helps you manage those builds installed on your computer. It helps you manage stable version, daily and experimental builds of Blender. So let's go into the download latest release and then it will take you to the github page which I will be linked down in the description below. So you can go ahead and download this Blender Launcher version 1.12.1 Windows 64 zip and you can also download the source code so once you have downloaded and installed it you just gonna wanna go over to blender launcher open it up and as you can see you have three different top panels and the three different side panels so what these are going to do is the library you have stable versions which you have installed that were released and the daily builds and experimental builds. And you can manage the different builds of Blender as well. You can also manage the different builds of daily, everything. And you can download the available builds of Blender from the download section. And from download section, you also have stable daily builds and experimental builds. As you can see, the Cycles X new experimental build of June 3. So there are a ton of different builds of Blender 3. As you can see daily build is Alpha 3rd June. And there is another section called User. In User you have your custom Blender builds like I have right here. It's the Blender custom Pyclone version. So there is a lot of different things you can do right here. So, the gear icon that you're seeing right here, click on it and then you have to select your Blender Foundation folder. Currently, I'm using C Blender Foundation. And you can also, you know, check these some things and modify it as you like. So, I have already did as it should have to be. Perfect. And then... What you're going to want to do is, once you have your library downloaded files, you just have to click on it and it's going to launch the Blender version. And as you can see in Blender Launcher, there is a one icon indicating that this branch is opened. And if I open the other, Blender 2.92, it's also going to show up right here. And if I open this again, it's going to show up that two branches are opened right here. As you can see, let me just close that off. Perfect. And now what you can do is, you can also get rid of some of these. By, if you don't like those or they are very older, you can just right click on it and remove from drive. You can also install template as well. You can remove from drive or you can let it show you the folder where it is and then you can remove this are you sure you want to delete this build yes i want to and it's gonna delete it from the download page you can also download it by this download button right here cycles x 3rd june 2021 build so click on it and it's gonna download it it's gonna take a little while and as you can see if i go over to the my library blender folder and there is also different folders inside it so we have templates stable experimental daily custom and temporary that it is downloading it stays on temporary and this is the software itself here so in custom I have blender pyclone version as you can see and in daily I have four daily versions of blender and in experimental i have two and in stable i have also two 
this is very great for you. If you like this blended launcher, it gives you that you want. You just have to go ahead and support this blended launcher developer on Gumroad for $4 or more. I highly recommend this if you are a 3D artist or you have too many builds installed for some extra works as you can see. So let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section below. And of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share it with your friends. And if you're new here it's gonna be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so that you won't miss the next video or the next update. Until then see you guys with a new tutorial. Bye.